Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at AWS Application Programming Interface, also known as AWS API. So before we talk about uh, the API, let's describe what Application Programming Interface is. So an API is software that allows two applications or services to talk to each other, and the most common type of API is via HTTP requests. And so the AWS API is actually an HTTP API, and you can interact with it by sending HTTPS requests using an application interacting with APIs like Postman. And so here's kind of an example of what a request would be that would be sent out. And so the way it works is that each AWS service generally has a service endpoint. So see where it says monitoring, that's gonna be CloudWatch. So sometimes they're named after the services, sometimes the name is a bit obscure. And of course you can't just call an, uh, call a, an API request without authenticating or authorizing. And so you have to sign your request. And so that's a process of making a separate request uh, uh, with your AWS credentials to get back a, a temporary token uh, in order to authorize that. And I don't have room to show it, but the thing is, is that what you'd be uh, also going along with this request would be to provide an action. So when you look at um, the AWS API, it will show you a bunch of actions that you can call. They're basically the same ones you'll see in the IAM policies. So it could be like describe EC2 instances or list buckets. Um, and they can also be accompanied with parameters, okay? So, you know, we're probably not going to show you how to uh, make an API request directly because that's not something that you would generally do. Um, but what you would do is you'd probably use the AWS Management Console, which is powered by the API, use the AWS SDK, which is powered by the API, or using the AWS CLI. So we'll cover all those three, okay?